Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to download, install and configure or set up Apache Spark on Windows 11 operating system. The process is same for all Windows operating systems. Steps involved in Apache Spark installation on Windows are First we have to download or install WinRAR or 7zip or any other software to unzip the zip files. Okay. Second we have to install Java 8 or later version. Then we have to download and install Python. Then we have to download Apache Spark. Then we have to extract. Then we have to download Hadoop in Itils. After that we have to create folders and last step we have to set the environment variables. Then we will see how to connect to Apache Spark. Okay. So first step is download the WinRare. Go to win-rare.com. This is the official website to download the WinRare. Click on this download. Then click on WinRare English 64 bit. See download has been started. Go to downloads. See WinRare has been downloaded successfully. Now install it by clicking on this exe file. Click on install. Click on OK. Click on done. Okay, close this one. Now next step is we have to download and install Java 8 or later versions. Okay. Now go to google.com then type Java JDK. Click on Java downloads Oracle. The first link. Whatever the links or the comments I am going to use in this video are available in the video description. See here the latest I am going to download Java JDK 17. Click on it. Then click on Windows. Then see here x64 installer. Click on this bin exe. The so size is 154 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. See download is completed. Again click on this JDK Windows 64 bin.exe file. Click on next. See it is going to install in this path. If you want to change you have to click on change and you have to select the path. Click on next. See Java has been installed successfully. Click on close. Okay, next step is Python. Okay, go to python.org. Click on downloads. See here the latest stable version is Python 3.12. Okay, if you want to download old versions, you have to click on downloads. Then go to see here. We have the older versions, but the latest python version is fine for apache spark click on this download python 3.12 again go to downloads the size is only wait until download completes see python download completed click on python exe file Choose the checkbox that is add python exe to path. Then click on install now. We have successfully installed python also. You can close. Now next step is we have to download Apache Spark. Okay. So go to go to Apache Spark website that is spark.apache.org. Click on download. See here the version at the time of making this video is the 3.50 is the latest one. Select the, this one or from the drop down if you want specific of any of these versions you have to select. Then choose a package type. I am going with pre-built for Apache Hadoop 3.3 or later. Okay. 
Now click on after selecting these types, then you have to click on Spark 3.5 zip file. Click on it. Click on any one of the download links. I am going with this link or you, you can click on this both are same. So I am going with this one. Go to downloads. See download has been started. Go to downloads. See here its the size is 382 megabytes. Wait until this download completes. Now go to downloads directory that is show in folder, right click on it, WinRare, then extract to this path. So it is going to download here only. Again it contains one more directory with the same name. See extraction is completed. See here we have these files. Next step is we have to download Hadoop WinIntils exe file. We can get that from this link. See here, we have the latest 3.30. Okay, we have downloaded Hadoop 3.3 or later. So, so I am going to download this one. But if you click on in Intel's, then click on download. It is not downloading. So it is always better to download this entire zip file. Click on select it. See, I will keep this link also in the video description. Then click on code. Then click on download zip. The size is only 27 megabytes. See here. Extract this one also. Right click and WinRAR extract to this one. Okay. See we have extracted Spark as well as WinNetils. Now the next step is we have to create folders for Spark and how to bin. Okay. After installation and extraction of the files, next step is we have to create folders in C drive or any drive. Okay, any drive is fine. Now go to C drive. I'm creating folder and giving the name as Spark. Hit enter. Then double click on it or open it. Then go to downloads directory, copy all these files from bin to this release, release file. Copy all these files, right click and click on copy or control C. Then go to the directory which you have created that is spark and paste them. Next, go to C drive again. Create new directory, name it as Hadoop. Go to this directory, again create one more directory. I am giving name as, give the name bin. Hit enter. Again, go to this bin directory. Now go to downloads directory. Go to WinNetils. Again WinNetils. Go to 3.3. Go to bin, then copy only this winnetils.exe file. Simply select it and control C. Then go to this Hadoop bin directory and paste here. Click on this paste button on Windows 11 or control V. Okay. So we have created these folders and copied the extracted files to these locations. Now next we have to set up the environment variables for Java, Spark and Hadoop. Now open environment variables, start then type our environment. See we have the edit the system environment variables. Click on it. This is the one way. Other way to open environment variables is right click on the PC then click on properties. Then click on advanced system settings. Then click on environment variables. In the user variable section, 
click on new in the variable name give the java underscore home in the variable value we have to give the downloaded directory go to c drive program files java copy this path then paste here click on ok the same way create two more directories for spark and hadoop okay variable name as hadoop underscore form path is c drive hadoop copy it paste here click on ok create new variable for spark spark underscore form then variable value go to c drive spark copy the path paste here click on ok now click on path click on edit click on new we have to give this one by one i will give i will keep all this in the video description click on new simply type or paste them java underscore home c then forward slash bin then click on new copy this one new paste here click on new again copy this one paste here click on ok i haven't done nothing just i have given this home then slash java home hadoop home then spark home then i have given at the end slash and bin okay click on okay click on okay click on okay so we have done or we have set everything now let's open command prompt cmd verify now give the command java see we have installed java verify the java version see i have installed java 17 okay cls to clear the screen now run the spark hyphen shell if it connects to apache spark which means we have successfully configured the apache spark okay hit enter See, we are successfully connecting to the Apache Spark. We got the Scala shell and, and we have installed Apache Spark 3.5.0. Okay. See here, Java version is 17. If you want to verify, just give any command. Print. Welcome to Arto Schools YouTube channel. If this is helpful, subscribe my channel. Also share. See, we got the output. If you want to quit from this console, you colon quit. See, we left from this spark shell. This spark is for scalar. But if you want to go for Apache Spy Spark, just give pi spark i'm going to clear the screen pi spark now we will get the python shell see here we got the python 3.12 we have also installed python 3 see we have installed python 3.12 here also we got the same python 3.12 shell okay so in this video we have seen how to download extract and install or set up or configure the apache spark on windows 11 operating system the process is same for all the all the windows operating systems then we have seen how to connect to spark shell for scala or connected to pi spark for more apache or apache spark 
for scalar python videos for more please subscribe my channel thank you